Hey, how you doing? David Taub here with NextLevelGuitar.com. What's up? Hope you're well. Hope your guitar journeys are going famously. Um, I'm here today. I'm going to do a little beginner lesson. You know, we try to spread it out and provide lessons for beginners, intermediate, advanced players. And I want to work on your uh, rhythm and timing skills a little bit today and uh, strumming. And uh, as I've talked about in the past, you know, strumming is something that's a little bit challenging for the beginner and guitarist and it takes a little while if you're playing is an evolution but stick with it and you can do it keep putting that guitar in your hand every day every day for 10 minutes if you only have 10 minutes put it in your hands you know those little 10 minute sessions really add up um, so we're gonna be what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be kind of spicing up your playing and show you how to make it a little bit more interesting with some basic strums but we're gonna be switching from one strum pattern to another back and forth um, like a measure on each and it's gonna take a little time to get this if you're not familiar with this but it's really gonna make your playing come alive you know and it's gonna start you know embellishing it and making it sound much more interesting you know and there's there's nothing that could make you feel more spastic than learning a new strum pattern right you know exactly what I'm talking about if you're at this point in your guitar journey so what we're gonna do is let me show you the two strum patterns we're gonna use and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna combine them all right I'm going to play an A major chord, and I'll flash all the chords that we're playing today on the screen in text so you can see them. Okay? A major. And the first strum we're going to do is a strum like this. It's going to sound like this. So what I'm doing if I don't play the chord, if I just hold the strings, is down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. I'll slow it down. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, okay? See if you can get that. Stop the video if you have to. See if you can kind of roll with this. I'll play it for a little bit. You can kind of play along. Sometimes playing along with someone really helps because you can lock in. And if you fall off, like when you're learning strum patterns, usually like you'll play it right, like get it to where you can play it right, like maybe once or twice through, then you'll lose it. Um, and then next time you'll play it maybe three or four times and lose it, six or seven, then lose it, you know. So kind of play along. I'll, I'll play it slow. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, good. So once you got that strum, let's go on to the next thing, which is I'm doing... You might have heard this, a, a concept, what I call breaking up the chord. You know, just because we're playing on the A chord, we're playing five strings. We are not playing the low E string. And in fact, you should be muting it with your thumb. So this way, when you're strumming, you can hit all six, but you only hear five because that low E string is muted. You gotta, if you don't know how to mute strings, go to our website, nextlevelguitar.com. We'll teach it to you. You gotta be muting, especially a lot of these open chords, to really get those chords to sound clean and crisp. Now, what I'm doing by breaking up the chord, because we're playing five strings, you know, you don't necessarily have to hit all five strings all the time. You can kind of break the chord up into pieces. And like what I was doing for a little bit was I was the first down strum, I was playing just the A string or just the root note. Same strum, down. But it makes it sound just a little bit more interesting because I'm not doing all the strings on every strum like this. Instead I'm doing this. Just those little things you could do really add color and flair and, and make it sound a little bit different. Just remember, you know, we all first learn strumming, of course, we're hitting all the strings all the time and that's a very literal interpretation of it. But you don't necessarily have to. You could hit just the top, maybe just the E, uh, the, the A, and the D strings. You could just do those two. So try just the one, getting just that A string. And this is an exercise to help you get the, sh the feel of where the strings are. So you don't have to kind of be looking at the strings. You just kind of do it by feel. And the next strum we're going to be playing is a strum that we've gone over before. We'll, we'll keep it simple. Down. 
I just hold the strings. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up. Let's combine them now. So for the first measure, we're gonna stay on the A chord for the first measure, and we're gonna do that first strum. Down, 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 up, down. Then the second measure, we're gonna do down, down, up, up, down. Up. Now this is gonna take a little bit to get the hang of this, but it's 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 gonna sound really cool and really dress up your strumming. And so you can hear it. To make it a little easier, let's change the chord a little bit, but real simple. So for the first measure, you're gonna play an A major. For the second measure, when you change the strum, just take off your third finger. That becomes an A suspended second, or A sus2. Hear the difference? A sus2, A major. So the first measure on the A, the, the first measure on the A major chord, you're going to be doing down, 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 up, down, up. Now take off that third finger and A sus2. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Because I want you to hear the change. Major, A sus2, down, down, up, up, down. Alright, I'll do it really slow. It'll sound like this if you put them together. A major, A sus2. So you can make your music come alive and really breathe life's blood into it just by little variations and just little things that you might not have thought you until someone showed you. Listen to how much different that sounds if I just play that A major chord the same way with, with the same strum. Sounds okay. It's in time. But doesn't it sound so much more interesting if I do what we're teaching here? Practice that and see if you can get it and play along with me and you could be getting this fast, fun and easy and then blast this across your playing at times. Try to switch that strum or any, when you have that A chord embellish it with an A sus2 and you could do that you know, with tons of other chords, A sus4 you know, and, and we teach you all that on the website but again get that real break up that chord string. I mean A string. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, Slow at first. Let's speed it up. Sus2, D to D sus2, and E to E sus4 using the same techniques of uh, breaking that strum up, you know, breaking up the chord and doing two different strums back to back. One measure on the one strum, next measure on the other strum, and, and uh, just rolling that over and over and over. So try that. It can really, really um, add some magic, add the magic to your playing, and um, it's fun. So uh, enjoy that. Check out our website, nextlevelguitar.com, 
and we will see you in the next lesson. I'm David Taub. You're the good people. Rock on.